welcome back to the Compliance Kitchen Podcast. This is Sylvia, and today I want to quickly look at a recent report that came out of the State Department in regards to uh, Russia and uh, the country's uh, propaganda ecosystem. Now, before we get into that, please note that anything you hear on Compliance Kitchen is uh, not a legal advice, and it should not be taken as such. Now, going into this report, this is uh, from around January 20th of 2022. And the State Department tells us that RT and Sputnik are key state-funded and directed global messengers within Russia's disinformation and propaganda ecosystem. The report explains that these state media outlets uh, interact with other pillars of the Russia's propaganda ecosystem that was identified uh, earlier or back in August of 2020 in a report uh, from the State Department's Global Engagement Center, where they outlined these five pillars of the Russia's uh, propaganda ecosystem. So RT and Sputnik are part of this and they interact with the other other pillars and uh, amplify content from Kremlin and Kremlin aligned proxy sites, uh, some of which are, according to the press release, connected to Russian intelligence. This is done to promote cyber enabled disinformation and weaponize uh, social media. Uh, The State Department tells us that RT and Sputnik's role as disinformation and propaganda outlets is most obvious when they report on issues of political importance to the Kremlin. A prevalent example is uh, the use of RT and Sputnik to attempt to change public opinions on controversial issues such as uh, opinion about Ukraine in Europe, in the United States, and also in Latin America. When factual reporting on major foreign policy uh, priorities is not favorable, Russia uses state-funded international media outlets to inject pro-Kremlin disinformation and propaganda into the information environment. So this is uh, just a quick coverage of the report. If you would like to take a look at the report itself, this can be downloaded uh, together with the press release. Uh, from the State Department's website.